Dear students, I have given you the introduction about Indias in three parts in my earlier videos. Now I am commencing selected Indias standards uh, with this uh, video screen recording. In this uh, screen recording, I am covering Indias 8. Indias 8 applies to accounting policies, changes in accounting estimates and errors. What is uh, accounting policies? Accounting policies are the specific principles and procedures implemented by a company's management team that are used to prepare its financial statements. These include any accounting methods, measurement systems and procedures for presenting disclosures. So accounting policies refers to the application of certain principles, procedures, etc. as decided uh, by the management as a policy matter. For example, average cost or another suitable basis as per IS2, valuation of inventory using FIFO, basis of measurement of non-current assets such as historical cost and revaluation basis, Accruals basis of preparation of financial statements. These are the examples which are treated as management policies for application in accounting treatment. An accounting policy can be changed only if the change is necessary as in days, as a mandatory thing or it can be on voluntary basis, if the results that can be presented in financial statements will become more reliable and more relevant by changing accounting policies. It would be changed as retrospectively. That means if an accounting policy is changed, then the application of the accounting policy should be treated as it has been applied retrospectively from the past periods. It means adjust the first opening balance of each affected component of financial item for the earliest prior period. That means if by changing the accounting policy, if any of the accounting item is affected from the earliest period wherein the change in accounting policy has affected the component, it must be changed from that period. Then adjust the comparative amounts disclosed thereafter for each prior period as if the new accounting policy had been applied in the earliest period itself. That means if accounting policy is changed and if it, if it affects some of the financial figures, the affected component should be changed from the beginning that is earliest period itself and subsequently from for all uh, financial periods such adjustments should be made so that the there will be an effect of application of the uh, changed accounting policy from the earliest period itself. Change in accounting estimates. Accounting estimate is an approximation of the amount to be debited or credited on items for which no precise means of measurement are available. That means estimation means it is approximation. There will not be much accuracy. They are based on specialized knowledge and judgment derived from experience while estimating past experience and specialized knowledge with regarding that item considered for approximation or estimation will be made. For example, in case of calculation of depreciation, accountants will estimate the useful life of the non-current asset. So the useful life estimation is just an approximation. Then difference between accounting estimation and accounting policies as meaning accounting estimation refers to approximate amount whereas accounting policies refers to the policies applied by top management. With regarding treatment of accounting estimation, accounting estimation should be applied 
prospectively. That means if any change in the estimation is made from the future period, the est uh, with reference to the future period, uh, that is prospectively, the estimation is changed. However, for accounting policies, it should be applied retrospectively. If the policy affects the financial figures of the past periods, from the earliest period itself, the change should be incorporated. And regarding disclosure of change in accounting estimate, a change in accounting estimate does not require the restatement of earlier financial statements, nor the retrospective adjustment of account balances. If there is any change in estimate, that can be applied only for the prospective financial statements and not uh, retrospective financial statements. In the past financial statements, there is no need of making any changes or restatement of financial statement. Earlier financial statements is not necessary. If the effect of change in estimate is immaterial, that means if it is not so significant in estimation, then uh, do not disclose the alteration. Then that, uh, that uh, estimation, change in estimation, if it is immaterial, that need not be uh, disclosed at all. That can be ignored. Then considering the prayer period items, adjustment of prayer period items. Prayer period items are income or expenses which arise in the current period as a result of errors or omission in the preparation of financial statements of one or more prayer periods. That means if the items relating to the past period have been changed or not, uh, there will be, uh, uh, no, it is noted by the management that uh, some change is there or error has to be, has occurred or omission in the uh, statement income or expense has taken place. Such items should be disclosed. And what is the standard? Disclosure of prayer period items. The nature and the relevant amount of prayer period items should be declared separately in the profit and loss statement. If there is any prayer period items that has to be shown in the profit and loss account relating to the prayer period, that should be separately shown in the profit and loss account. And further, the effect of such inclusion in the current year periods profit and loss account should be separately shown and uh, there uh, should be clearly understandability, clear understandability of such uh, items. With regard to allowability of prayer period items that is expenses in the current year profit and loss account, the standard says that the expenditure incurred by a company will be allowed by the income tax authorities if the expenditure is pertaining to the respective financial year. There is an accounting norm that uh, while preparing the profit and loss account, only the expenses and incomes relating to that particular year is only presented, shown in the profit and loss account. However, if there is a, a past period or prayer period items, the income tax authorities may allow such items if it is allowable. For example, forget to include borrowing cost in the cost of pensionary. Normally, borrowing cost uh, is included as uh, an element of cost of pensionary and if it is not considered in the past, income tax authorities may allow it to, to add uh, to the cost of pensionary in the current year. Accounting treatment of prayer period errors. The entity must correct material prayer period errors. Uh, errors. That means uh, if the uh, error is material, important, significant, then it should be uh, corrected res retrospectively in the first set of financial statements approved for issue after their discovery by restating. That means if an error has occurred, from the period wherein the accounting error has occurred, it must be changed retrospectively. From that financial statements, the error must be corrected. The comparative amounts for the prior periods in which the error occurred, that means restating should be applied from the earliest period itself. And subsequently, the opening balance of assets, liabilities and equity for the earliest possible period presented from practical sense. In case 
there is any difficulty in making changes with regarding prayer period adjustments the adjustment should be made at the earliest possible period presented from practical sense that means if it is possible to consider the change in errors making changes in such errors from the earliest period wherein the error has occurred then it can be done otherwise from practical sense where from which period it can be changed from that practical from practical sense the change can be made if the prayer period error is immaterial that means that means if it is not so uh, significant that can be corrected in the financial statements of the period in which it is discovered that means in the period in which such a immaterial or insignificant error is identified in that financial statement itself the change can be made it can it need not be uh, applied retrospectively change in accounting estimate versus prior period errors change in accounting estimates where when there is change in accounting estimates result from new information or new developments with regarding prior period errors result from failure to use or misuse of available information so change in accounting estimates may result from new information or new development whereas prior period errors result from failure to use or misuse of available information there is some error example for accounting estimates change in the useful life of depreciable asset that is while calculating depreciation useful life is estimated and uh, error might have occurred uh, and that may be just uh, error in estimation whereas prior period errors the example forget to include borrowing cost in the cost of machinery it is an item that is omitted that is not considered and now that has to be taken into account accounting treatment with regarding change in accounting estimate it can be applied prospectively that means it need not be applied from the past period it can be applied for the uh, future financial statement whereas in case of prior period errors that should be applied ret- retrospectively that means from the period in which uh, the error relates then from that financial statement itself the change should be made and subsequently in further statements also the changes should be made as if the error is corrected from the beginning itself thank you this ends the uh, screen recording of india's 8